Welcome to the MRT Malaysia Did You Know video series where we interview different employees from the project to talk about the different levels of construction. Today we have Encik Cairo Samsudin to talk about the elevator construction for the piers for the MRT SSP line. Encik Cairo. Hello. My name is Cairo Azhar Samsudin. I'm a senior project manager at MRT Corp. I have 25 years of working experience as design consultant project management and construction site. Prior to joining MRT Corp, I'm involved in the mega project such as KLA1 and KLA2, MAX and SKVE Expressway, and ERL and KL Monorail project. In 2011, I was involved in the advanced work North Quarters Pantan for the launching of tunnel boring machine for MRT SBK line. I'm currently working in the elevated and construction department for the SSP line project. I've been working in MRT Corp for six years now, since 2012. What is your role in the MRT project? My current role in MRT Corp is to lead the Northern MRT Line 2 section which consists of 14 km vida inclusive of cut and cover for 11 stations from Sungai Buloh to Jalan Ipoh. What are the distances between piers being built for the MRT SSP Line? The pier distance ranges from 30 meter to 40 meter for typical standard span and 50 meter to 140 meter for long span. The longest distance at V201 crossing KTMB track and Jalan Kuala Selangor distance 110 meter. What is the total number of piers for the MRT SSP line and the average height of it? The total piers to be built in SSP line is 1441 piers and the average pier height is approximately 8 meter to 60 meter. However, the height depends on the ground level to ensure the rail level is uniform throughout the railway line. 